Welcome to worship at Rome First United Methodist Church. You found us online on YouTube. We begin this Easter Sunday service with a traditional Easter greeting. I say, He is risen. And you respond, He is risen indeed. Let's try it. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Welcome to this time of worship. Follow along with the announcements as you'll see them in just a moment. And if you'd like to be a part of the Christian community at Rome First, we have open hearts, open minds, and open doors. And once we are able to return to in-person worship, there's a place here for you at Rome First. I hope you'll come and discover it and discover the wonderful things that God is doing with us, in us, and through us. And you're welcome to come and see. Hello, and welcome to Rome First United Methodist Church online worship service series. We are so glad you are here today. After the service, please visit our website at www.romefirst.org. That is romefirst.org. There you can find remote fellowship links to worship services, to Sunday school and Bible studies. You can also contact our staff by using the drop-down menu, selecting their names and noting their email addresses there on the website. If needed, you can certainly call the church office during normal business office hours at 706-291-8590 and someone will be glad to assist you. Our service today is broadcast as we are continuing to record remotely to observe social gathering precautions and help continue to flatten the curve of the COVID-19 virus. We are acknowledging our bishop and the cabinet's urging to do no harm and not physically gather at the church, but continue to worship online. Please remember to watch for any additional information and updates in the Monthly Herald. Additional information can be located on our website. Won't you please give that we might support ministry in sharing the gospel here, there, and everywhere. Also on the website, you can give a special gift, an offering, or tithe by clicking the giving button and selecting push pay for credit cards or Rome First access to use your ACH debit card. If you find you have compromised immunity and are not able to get out to pick up supplies, run errands, or get groceries, please don't risk it. We have a group of volunteers right here at the church that are willing to help run your errands, pick up your groceries, and drop them at your door. Just call the church office for more information. Since we will be posting worship services online for the foreseeable future, and even after we are able to gather together again, if you have a Google account and would like to be notified about videos that we post to this YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to choose how you would like to be notified. Also, please remember to invite your friends to subscribe too. So, once again, don't forget to check the weekly emails and the website for monthly Herald updates and additional information. Now, sit back and enjoy our online worship until we gather again real soon. We are now at the time in our service where we would normally walk around and see our friends and extend our hand to our neighbors and the newcomers and visitors with the sign of peace. Not everyone has the opportunity to view our online service. Would you take a moment to think of someone you have missed since we were able to last gather and send them a note, a card, or a text, or maybe just a call, letting them know we're thinking about them and have missed seeing them. If you're watching through YouTube or Facebook Live, place a comment extending a sign of peace to our friends and visitor in the comment section below. And until we're able to gather again, 
May the peace of our Lord and Savior always be with you. Would you join me in our call to worship? Early in the morning, we come to you, Lord, with gratefulness and wonder, with awe at your power to save us. This morning, we want to follow the women to the tomb. We want to hear the surprising words, He is not here. We want to kneel before Christ with joy and thankfulness. And we want to leave this time of worship bursting with good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed.
Let us join together now in making this historic affirmation of our faith found in the Apostles' Creed in the United Methodist Hymnal number 881. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From this we shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Would you join me in a time and an attitude of prayer as together we go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, gracious and loving God, thank you for the beauty and the wonder of this new day, of this Resurrection Sunday. We gather together and unite our hearts and our voices in singing your praise and offering our thanks for your goodness, for your mercy, and for your love, all made known and made real through the person of Jesus Christ. Christ the Lord is risen today. Let us sing loud hallelujahs. Let us lift our voices in praise and in thanks that your great love gives us new life in and through Christ Jesus. Enable us, O Lord, as we gather right where we are, to remember it is not about space or place, but about an attitude of gratefulness, humbleness, humility, and thankfulness that we gather to offer you our worship and our praise. Accept, O Lord, our gifts of praise, of thanks, of gratitude. And we accept your invitation, O Lord, to follow you, to take the good news of your great love through Jesus Christ, into the world, even on this day, especially on this Easter, Sunday, 2021. Hear our prayers, O Lord, for we lift them before your throne of grace as we offer our thanks and our praise. And we join our voices together as we offer ourself in service to you. Use all that we have and all that you have blessed us with to be a blessing to you and into your kingdom and your creation. And now we join our voices and we pray the prayer that Jesus himself prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Jesus was crucified. Jesus was crucified. He died and was buried. Died and was buried. Jesus was crucified.
The stone was rolled away. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she went to look inside, and she saw two angels in white sitting right where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. The angel said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Mary said to them, Someone has taken my, my Lord away, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she said this, the two, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she, she did not know what, that it was Jesus. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Mary Magdalene thought he was the gardener. She said to him, Sir, if you have carried his body away, tell me where you put him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she said to him in Hebrew, Rabbani, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I am not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them he had said these things to her. The door of the house where the disciples had met were locked because they were so afraid. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he showed him his hands and his side, then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you as the Father has sent me, so I send you. He breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our scripture lesson for this Easter Sunday comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 1 through 5. I invite you to read out loud from right where you are. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here but he has risen. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Imagine their surprise. They went to the tomb expecting to do what they traveled there to do. To anoint the body of their friend, their teacher, Jesus. And when they got there, the tomb was empty, and they saw the empty tomb, and two men dressed in dazzling clothes, according to this gospel account. At that moment, the whole world changed, not just for those women, but for all time. We come to this moment, and it's not as we expected it would be. But if Easter teaches us nothing, it teaches us the greatest lesson of life, which is expect the unexpected. Even though Jesus had prepared his disciples and told them everything that was to happen, it was so incredible. And it happened just as he said. So as we've made our way on this Easter, to this Easter destination, on this new day, we've been on the way with Jesus through the season of Lent. 
And now we come to the celebration, marked with the beauty of new life, the promise of spring. In the midst of this pandemic, we persist in seeking to do no harm, in seeking to do good by sharing God's love. We celebrate the good news of Easter and we give thanks for God's great, amazing love that finds us right where we are, surprised and surrounded by God's great love in Jesus Christ. As you go about the rest of your day, I pray you would give thanks for the surprises of life. Give thanks that things don't turn out the way we planned and that in the surprises we find the grace of God meets us there. Go be filled by the grace of God this and every day. I bid you peace. Hear this invitation for all who will come and receive the goodness of the Lord. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin, and who seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, we confess our sins before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. We come around the table even though we are scattered and separated by space and time. Yet we gather at the table to which our Lord invites all to come. So gather around with those who are near to you or whether you are in your space by yourself. The presence and the peace of God, the Father Almighty, is with us as we together experience this mystery of grace. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and a joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image. You breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love for you failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity. You made covenant to be our sovereign God and spoke to us through your prophets. And so, with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ. Your spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to announce that the time had come when you would save your people. 
He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate with sinners. By the baptism of his suffering death and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word and Holy Spirit. And on the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread. He gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, he took the cup, he gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on those who are gathered and on these gifts of bread and the fruit of the vine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. Make your spirit dwell in us and one in each other so that we may be one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast together at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now would you receive this blessing and this benediction. To go into the world with the great good news of God's amazing love and unending grace to take the good news of God's light and love into the dark places. For we do not go alone, for Christ goes before us. Be filled with the hope that is ours in Christ. Be filled with the love that fills us because of God's great love made real on Easter. He is risen. He is risen indeed. As people of the resurrection, go and be the church. This and every day. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I bid you peace. Have a happy and joyous Easter day.